a lot of people don't spend two weeks consuming my stuff, so they see a headline or two and they're like, yo, hustle this or hustle that. I always talk about sleeping a lot. I also always talk about like if you love it, it you know, look, look, anybody here, like and definitely anybody listening or watching, if you really love it, like for real, not like you're kind of saying it because you're trying to get through your life, if you really love it, it truly isn't feel like work. Like school felt like work. And that was only like nine to three with tons of breaks in between. And that was devastating. You know, um, my audio book, reading it, I'm only halfway through, that's work. You look like you were in hell. I was watching the video today, yeah. right? The, the, it's not the, easy for me, man. Like I don't like it. And so like I know what work, I know what not liking it feels like and what work feels like. Um, you know, being an entrepreneur for me, running businesses, putting out content, doing my thing, does not feel like work. I mean, look, I talk a lot about work, hard work. There's not a whole lot of content coming for me on the weekends. There, you know, I take four, five, six, seven weeks of vacation a year. Like, what I'm doing is I'm maximizing my 15 hours a day those during the week. But I, uh, yeah, I'm. If, my only kryptonite is the health of my family. From the day I left school in May of 1998 to this moment, I've always been the operating partner of a business. Every day. Every day. I think that gets blown by. They yeah. Like I mean, people get stuck look, in the noise. Look, I think people, people should, and that's life, people get caught up in sizzle over steak every day of the week. But I like that because I think I'm kind of playing to that a little bit. I think I'm forcing that narrative because I'm a fan of the reveal. Like, aha, I told you. Like, I like being underestimated. I prefer it. I, I'm more comfortable in it. And so, you know, yeah. I mean, and ultimately I also don't care. Like, the truth is gonna speak. Like, you're not gonna build a billion dollar by accident business. Like, either you're good enough or you're not. And so, I know how this plays out other than the health and well-being of myself and my family, there's no shot I don't achieve enormous business success in my life. I'm too good at it. Yeah, it's interesting though, I mean, because you say that, that you don't care, and I know you don't, and, and, and that, that reptile part of your brain, yeah. I very much admire. Yes. But then I've also gone on Reddit, because I spent fucking two yes. weeks doing this, and seen you interact in, with people. In, in, interact. Um, Do it all the time. said something like 80% of your tweets are freaking replies. Yep. Which, that was staggering. I, I have empathy for people that don't see it my way and I want to show them, I'm so thankful that somebody consumes my content that even if they say I'm a charlatan and a snake oil salesman, I want to show the respect of them engaging in my content to reply and have the conversation because I'm intrigued by the insight of what they're saying. I'm in tune with how I'm perceived by engaging with people that started off by thinking I was shit. And I also am empathetic. I'm a pretty funny character in a snippet. Two weeks full consumption, you gotta read, you know, 28 seconds in a stream in the right moment. I'm not super fun for a lot of people. Plus, I'm also a suffocator. I will suffocate shit. The reason I think I'm helping people is I'm suffocating bullshit. Like, like no, this is not the president's fault. No, this is not your boss's fault. Like, this is, you're insecure. And like, you're insecure probably because your mom's a piece of shit, so we need to talk about that. That's not a conversation that people are excited about. Like, hey, guess, great news, your boss isn't a dick, your mom's fucked up, let's talk about it. Eh, not as interesting, it's much more fun to say my boss is a dick. But that's not what's happening, so let's have that conversation. I'm willing to go there because I think I'll win in the end. I think I'm bringing value. And I take people's attention very seriously and I will never take it for granted and it manifests in me being a kind guy. It also manifests in me engaging with things that hurt my feelings. I'm super pumped that my fourth grade friends and my sixth grade teachers and people are coming out of the woodworks. I am not that thoughtful about it. I am tripling down on who I am. I was super charismatic and nice as shit to everybody long before I ever thought that anybody would even know who I was because that's my DNA and how I was raised. So, you know, it's funny. I didn't grab you that way. Like, I, I, I get it. And, and it runs through my mind. Yeah. I'm very aware that there's eyes on me and now it's gotten completely batshit crazy. Like, it's super weird. But the best part is, bro, it's exhausting playing a character. I, would, I have the most energy, but I would never be able to win that game because I would have a vulnerability. Well, it comes out. And it's going You to will come. never win. All this shit does is exposes who you actually are. And so 
I just like people. I just like them. Plus, I, I like, I like, I like looking because I like to learn from it. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's a good place for me. The world becoming more people centric and at scale, that became a really good thing for me, man. Like, that really worked out for me. My impact is extraordinary, and I'm in a totally different place, and I'm really impacting people, and that's really cool. Like. You know, I don't think people understand what it feels like when people send you emails about being homeless and now being better or like, like just really, and I really go into emotional places with my entrepreneur talk, like I go to there. You know, I go there and so I'm enjoying myself tremendously and I'm very, you know what? I'm very aware like that coming back and shaking your hand in that moment like is a good thing. That people will understand that I almost am having one macro version of that with myself right now. I know that doing all these right things are gonna lead to some pretty extraordinary attention. I mean, I genuinely believe that everybody on earth will know who I am. I, I genuinely believe that. It's That's true to you, that's what I'm saying. Brother, it's not, it's, you have to understand, it's binary. There's just no event. Even like, a tr- I know even a, tr- there's no event. I mean, I guess I could hit my head, like maybe a boulder, like like maybe, like I have some real, I don't meditate because I'm scared to change who I am. Yeah, I was gonna ask you about that, <laughs> but I ran out of time, but you don't meditate. I don't, Tim I Ferris believe it. Tim has not gotten you to freaking meditate. Nope. Or Tony Robbins or anything. No, I feel in a very, very good place and I, and I really am excited about one core thing. The fact that I've become cool to a lot of young people is a big deal because now I've crossed the chasm into a different place where I'm able to redefine characteristics of coolness that excite me. If I can achieve making self-awareness and patience and gratitude and empathy cool characteristics of an alpha male, I might have a real fucking impact, man. And honestly, I have that audacity.